In social science, we look at society as kind of like a living organism, a super organism. Some of us look at how it feeds itself and satisfies its needs. We call them economists. Others look at how it organizes itself and governs itself. We call them political scientists. Others look at how it hangs out with others, sociologists, or at its little habits and quirks, anthropologists, and others how it communicates, communication scholars. Now, this perspective on society as a supra-organism, a living organism, begs the question, how does it evolve? And that's what we're gonna look at today in, in, in these lectures. From our perspective of innovation theory, social evolution is intricately linked to the evolution of technology. Technology as the knowledge that we have, what we understand about the universe around us, which we then embed into physical structures in order to kind of like capture this knowledge and, and diffuse it. And there you have already two perspectives. Once we capture this knowledge, and we looked at this at a previous lecture when we talked about technological change, and that has to do how technology gets better over time. And now we also said that it will diffuse in society and that leads to social change. So these are two complementary processes. Technology gets better, we have better technology and we have more technology. It diffuses, it, it permeates society and with that also reorganizes society. And from a perspective of innovation theory, that's how society eventually then evolves or we co-evolve with our technology. And that's what we're gonna look at first, how do technologies and societies co-evolve? Then we take a deep dive into social systems and how they evolve over time and have evolved. And then we go even deeper and look at exactly how that actually works. How do technologies diffuse in society? How do they permeate society, saturate society and, and create new kind of social systems and while they diffuse in society, this process is not an instantaneous process. It's not a it false like mana from heaven uh, and everybody has it, it takes time. And while it diffuses, it inevitably creates an inequality. In the digital paradigm, we call it the digital divide and it's a new form of inequality. Some have more access and can make better use of information, communication, and knowledge, and knowledge is notoriously power, and, and others do not. So this is a, a quite concerning new kind of inequality that, if you look at it from the theoretical perspective of social evolution, it's actually inevitable, but we can do something about it. And we will talk about some of the, the policy conclusions, which we will then go deeper into in our next lecture.